a multidisciplinary organization mandated with investigation of money laundering and violations of foreign exchange laws this is how the ed is defined on its official website the directorate of enforcement or ed focuses on enforcing laws that are in place to prevent economic offenses and functions under the revenue department of the finance ministry the foreign exchange regulation act foreign exchange management act prevention of money laundering act fugitive economic offenders act and the conservation of foreign exchange and prevention of smuggling activities act are the regulations whose enforcement is the ed's responsibility the prevention of money laundering act 2002 or the pmla is the law under which the ed has arrested several political leaders in the last couple of years the prevention of money laundering bill was introduced in the parliament in 1999 subsequently it became the prevention of money laundering act in 2002 and came into force from 2005 successive amendments to the pmla especially since 2012 have granted greater powers to the ed facilitated easier arrests and have made it nearly impossible for accused persons to obtain bail on thursday that is march 21st 2024 Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was arrested by the ED after he skipped nine summonses issued to him in the Delhi liquor policy case. The arrest was made just hours after the Delhi High Court refused to grant him protection from arrest. In January, Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Soren was arrested under the PMLA with charges of illegal possession of land. However, he had resigned before his arrest. making kejriwal the first sitting chief minister in india to be arrested satyendra jain manish sisodia sanjay singh of the aam aadmi party k kavita of the brs sendil balaji of dmk anubrata mondal partha chatterjee jyoti priya malik and manik bhattacharya of the tmc are some other political leaders who have been arrested Most of these arrests were made after the ED and other investigation agencies such as the CBI had evidence against the accused but the delay in conducting trials has given rise to suspicion among politicians and citizens alike data shows that the number of convictions is very low when compared to the number of arrests made by the ED under PMLA another point of contention is the selective nature of ED's raids and arrests A majority of prominent politicians arrested by the ED under PMLA and other provisions belong to parties that form the opposition. Some opposition leaders have also formed an alliance with the BJP after which the ED has shifted its focus away from them. Earlier this month TMC legislator Tapas Roy quit his party and joined the BJP. The ED had raided his residence in January. But the most dramatic switch was that of ajit pawar in maharashtra you can watch one of our videos on this topic this is not the first time that the ed has been accused of being used as a tool by political parties an example can be found from as early as 1978 here is what the committee of public undertakings had to say in its report on the economic offenses in the jute industry It appears as if the enforcement directorate was not meant to detect or prevent economic offences but more so to shield the economic criminals but also to act as a tool for fulfilling personal vendetta and political vindictiveness. With the Lok Sabha polls less than a month away the timing of each and every move of the ruling BJP government gains a lot of significance. On one hand we citizens can feel satisfied about a government agency being hyperactive at the same time the selective approach delay in trials and the timing make us wonder if our institutions are truly independent don't forget to subscribe to in reports thank you